I decided when my birthday was coming, I said my present to myself is I'm going to finish a season one. I'm going to somehow write season one. I locked myself in my house. I didn't leave except to get food and gas for two months. Um, and I wrote uh, eight episodes to go along with the month. So season one. I went to France at one point, but Marseille with us. I was in France for a week, Paris and Marseille. But I brought the work with me. I wrote an episode in Paris, I wrote an episode of Marseille. And I never stopped. I was just, they were like, Mike, where are you going? Because I mean, I'm not really much of a drinker. I said, well, I'm going to go to my room and get to sleep. And I was just, you know. But I just, I just, uh, and then after that, I, uh, I, I raised the money, basically, went to people I knew who I knew had disposable. It wasn't necessarily rich people, because a lot of people have money, you don't even know them. A lot of people have money and they will invest in, in your project because they have a fantasy of, um, of being an executive producer on a show or something. And this is where I found that. And, um, and, it, and the people that invested, I had no idea they had that kind of money. I was shocked. But I knew them. And the one thing I, in, in every investor, I had eight investors. And the one thing that, I, that they all said to me, every last one of them said, you know, Mike, because I give them the scripts, here's the script, here's the web series it's based on, and uh, here's, here's how much I need. And if you can give me all of it, that'd be great. If you can give me some of it, you know. So they said, um, you know, I, I read the scripts and I like it. I it was funny. And I saw the web series, the web series is, you know, why, do you do, why do you show me the web series? Because the script is nothing like the web series. I'm trying to show you the they said, um, I don't know if it's going to work in that. I don't even know if it's a good idea now, because I'm not into the business. But I know you. I believe in you. You've been doing this for a long time. I've been watching you for 20 years or 15 years. And I'm giving you this money because I believe in you. And, and, I, and I was thinking on a bigger level when I hear these guys who raise millions of dollars and get someone like Spielberg, who is well, Spielberg and Jeff Katzenberg and Spielberg and David Geffen when they started, I remember when they started DreamWorks in 95 and 94. And people were coming forward, and, you know, Paul Allen put in, I think, almost like half a million dollars. What I see sometimes is somebody will have a show, that, and they'll come out smoking, and it's doing well, and then first season was, second season, they want to get cute. Yeah. Second season, they want to get fancy. And they, the show goes on a whole other, it becomes something else, and they don't get in the festival, and they get mad at me, and they say, why did I get the festival? But I did so well last year, I said, ooh, well, last season was a different show. Oh, what the fuck this is this? <laughs> now we the reverse has happened. I've watched shows the first season, and you're like, oh my god, this is okay, well maybe I'm okay, well it's the first and the first season is a mess. Well half first half season. But you see something, and this is why we watch every we watch every episode. Wow. People think, oh, it must be torture. It's not torture because mm -hmm. what happens? I've watched shows where the first six episodes sucked. Yeah. They have eight. Seven episodes show promise, eight episodes is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Second season. Season one, act, season two, episode one, picked up and went from where season one left off, and it just. And even there's some shows in the festival here that have multiple seasons that we watched that we were like, okay, the first season we not have gotten in the festival, but the second season is a different show. Third season is even better, but that's the progression that that makes sense because that's what happens in television. But problem with television is because there's so much money involved, they don't give you. A, a chance to succeed. Yeah. They don't give you a chance to try it out. Of it. You don't get five of these episodes. It's over. They cancel the show. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what that show would have been if you'd given it 18 episodes like Seinfeld or two seasons like I mean, NBC was known back in the day in the 80s. Brandon Tartikoff was known for championing shows that had to be lowered rates if he believed in the show. He would stick with it. He'd give you two seasons. Okay, if you can't get the other two seasons, you got to